Hello everyone, uh, this is Carl from Competition Auto. Uh, we are going to be doing a quick guide on how to degree a camshaft. We just happens to be doing a Gen 5 LT1. First thing we need to do is get a degree wheel on, put your piece of coat hanger, and we're going to try to set this up for top dead center. So we're going to have a dial indicator. We're going to get that piston as close to the top as we possibly can on zero. Starting to hit the dial indicator, we're going to bring it all the way up as close as we can get it. All right, I think that's as close as I can get it. Make sure this is set to zero. We're going to back it off a hundred thousandths and slowly bring it back up to fifty thousandths before top dead center. And I overshot it, very easily to do, just back it off again, come back slowly. Okay, that's 50,000. 50, At that point, we're going to write down our number. We are on 11. Now we will go ahead and rotate it to 50 after top dead center. So the dollar indicator is going to come up to zero, and it's going to start going back down. Stop it again on the 50. Do not overshoot it. 50. My number is 11.5. 11.5 is pretty darn close. So if you equal numbers on both sides, is going to put us on top to that center. So I can tweak this by loosening this and spinning it, or I can just barely bend the coat hanger. A little bit closer to 11. That way we're going to be more 11 and a quarter on each side. Got it. Now you'd want to recheck that. And then after that's done, you know you're on top dead center. Then we're going to degree the camshaft. We have another dial indicator on your intake cam lobe. We're going to do it similar. You're going to turn it until that lobe's all the way up. Here's the dial indicator moving. It's coming up, coming up, coming up. And that's it. So same thing, we'll, make, we'll put this thing on zero. We're gonna back it off about a hundred thousandths. And then we're gonna bring it back up to 50,000 before peak. We're on 50,000. We're gonna write that number down as well. Our number is 61. So 61. Then we'll continue to turn it past its peak. And when it starts coming back down, you'll stop it again at 50. All right, there's our 50. Our number here is 149. 149. You will take your calculator or whatever you want to do to add these two numbers together. Just quick math. And then you're going to take that number and you're going to divide it by two. So most of us are going to use a calculator. Calculator. First number was 61. Clear it first. 61 plus 149 equals 210. Then divide 210 by 2, 105. 105 is advanced pretty darn far. Um, these motors do love to be advanced. 105 is an overshot for us. I'm going to try to get closer to. 107 and a half to 108 and a half max. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to loosen up the camshaft and see if we have enough slack in the stock gears to retard that camshaft a few degrees.
use whatever you have to do to get that camshaft retarded. There's a little bit of room in here. You can use a screwdriver to hold the lobe. I can advance the crankshaft, which will hold the camshaft steady, which should retard the camshaft if we have no slack. Snug the camshaft back up. And we're just simply going to recheck it to see where we're at now. So the same procedure. I believe that's going to be our top. Yep. So we're going to back it off. A little past 50, 100,000 is always a good number. Bring it back up to 50 again. And write that number down. Hopefully it's a little different. The new number is right dead on 65. We will rotate it past the peak, the peak lift on the camshaft until it hits 50 again coming down. So it'll be 50 after peak. There's our 50. Our new number for this is now 152. One fifty-two. Grab your calculator or phone, whatever you're using for it. We have 65 plus 152 equals 217. Divide that by two equals 108.5. I'm happy with that number. I was hoping for 108. I can move it around so I get my 108, but 108.5 is pretty good. Now, these cams normally come with cam spec sheets. We have one here from Comp Cams. Uh, the center line would be 113. That's where they want you to put this at it. This cam happens to be a GPI track attack cam. They normally recommend for them to be at, pretty darn good here, 108.5. We cannot get no better than that. We are dead on 108.5, and that's a number I also agree with. So we are going to lock everything down, and this is the number we're going with. Thank you very much for watching.